friends, this is scroll saw. Okay, this is a scroll saw here. We've got three of these green ones over here, and on the other side of the room, there's three more, and they're kind of a tannish yellowish. Uh, these tools are used for making curvy cuts through relatively thin wood, and the point here today is to uh, show you both how to change the blade and um, some things to know about it. First off, to change the blade. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, you're going to want to have a kind of a large view of this phone. Uh, you'll get a chance to uh, you'll get a chance to do this on your own, but I'll go through the steps. You reach under, you pop out the throat blade, throat plate, set it aside. Then you're going to go to this tension knob here, lefty loosey. Takes a few to turn. And you're going to want to open that up until it twists nice and easily. Check this blade; there should be a lot of wiggle in it. Now bring that phone over here. I want you to be able to shoot down in here and see what's going on. This is the top arm. This is the bottom arm. The two arms need to come together. So what we can do is sometimes we can just simply push the top arm down. Sometimes we actually have to get a finger under here and push the two arms towards each other. And you'll see me do that. Then I'll just remove the blade. Okay. Now with the blade out, just hold that right there, you can see that there are those little pin teeth on both ends. Are these little pins. These little pins are what are held by the arms. So we're going to go and replace that blade. Now the rule of blades is this. A thin blade is used for making curvy cuts in thin wood. A thicker blade is used for making straight cuts in thick, dense wood. Please make sure that you select the appropriate blade for the appropriate task. And if you can see on this, the teeth have a direction. The direction of a properly installed tooth setup is facing you and pointing downwards, as you can see right there, facing downwards. To reinstall the blade, we just simply reverse the process. We take these pins, we hook them in the slot underneath, push that top arm down if we're so lucky. Okay, make sure everything's locked in. Now we go back here to our tensioning knob, and we're gonna tighten that up so that blade has almost no wobble in it. Some of these knobs are harder to tighten than others. The black ones can be a little bit more difficult. Checking that blade tension. Might get a little difficult, but put a little tension on that. This blade shouldn't wobble. That's nice and tight. As you can hear, we're gonna replace that throat plate. Now we're good to go. To turn the tool on, you're going to be either using this switch right here, or you're going to be using this adjustment knob on the other tool. You can make the blade go slower or faster, depending on how you wish. <coughs> Excuse me. Adjust the puffer so that it is aimed at your blade, and it will blow away the tiny chips that build up. If the blade does break, it's your responsibility to change it. Let me know after you've changed it, but um, it's on you to do it. This is a pretty simple tool, pretty straightforward tool. Most students like it. If you have any questions, please come ask me.